Hello everybody, so Rogue Legends here. We are back, and we're gonna actually watch some of the matches I've had in the limited one. So we're gonna go with the ones that we actually can watch because uh yeah. So Lily was our first one. I'm gonna try to remember what happened here. Yeah, it was the I think this was one of the cases of did not understand the deck. What do I mean by that? Um I know a lot of people play the events, use the loner decks. I kind of hope that, you know... Oh yeah, you see I'm going first. So, my thought process. Great opening hand because of the fact that we have Reamheart and Clear New World, which could help out a lot. Right? But... Again, the, the case of the opponent probably activating something in the hand just because. But this is where it... Bit them right in the cheeks. Their rhyme hearts now effectively offline. No foolish burial goods. And Fearless is gone. Bad scoop. I bring out my own Fearless. Get out Trisk. Trisk brings back Fearless. Get out Amarita. Amarita gets out. Planet. Throw down Planet. Get Meek. Use this to pop Visus. Get out Tier Limits. And then I think here's where they surrendered. Oh no. Here is where they got ready to surrender. You know your boy doesn't do the doesn't go half anything. I don't even know what drop. So two more big hearts. I even joked wrong with Jamer that uh, <laughs> the face down is what really did it. But it was a strong end board. Again, the, the pure power that you can see from mixing in some cards is when I first started looking at Clear New World as like a very legitimate potential for decks. Um, what were you again? You were the... Ah, this one. So this one was just a little funny to me. You know, I'm just going to show you guys the loss because I need you to realize that even... For as much as I know the stuff, I still fumble through the block. Again, me, pretty decent opening hand. Search, search. I... So throw away three. I got a little worried at that, I was going to be perfectly honest, but... This thing confused me a little bit at first. Because this is easy X seeds right here. So yeah, everyone remembers the bird. This is actually another type of tech that people like doing too, I've noticed. Um, bringing out Griffin and... Uh... Oh no, wait. I think you need... Yeah, no... They like combining. I remember in the early days of Kashira, they would combine it with Right of uh, Armasar in order to get out easy access to uh, a couple of Link set, uh, XE seven, Break sevens. But again, a pretty annoying board to deal with, at least in my personal opinion. But then I drew it, and I was like, "Oh, baby!" So first things first. Hit me with the solemn. I was like, ooh. But I'm glad I got that out the way. Easiest response in my life. I need this. So, bait out that effect. Let it go. Hit him with the pressured planet. Fenrir and scoop.
The strength of Fenrir. Steve. I think Steve Steve was the tragic case, I think. Well, that's part of the reason why Limit 1 is fun. Like, you never know what your opponent's hands are going to have. And remember, you would think that the odds would be stacked against them to draw what they need. No, all cards have the same odds. A 1 in 40 to be... No, not even a 1 in 40. A 1 in... I can do math. A 1 in 8 chance of being in the hand. So again, pretty bricked up hand for me. I was like, eh, whatever. And again, one of the negatives of having... Uh, of playing the Mandanians. Let me play right here. This is more trying to hope that if he put a card, another card down, he might accidentally put it in the slot. I've seen a lot of duelists accidentally forget where Imperm is activated. This was just unfortunate for them. You know the standard cash zero play. Actually, this was a, a tech gamer thought of. Just in case, you know? And then Steve decided that he could not do much. Potentially, we both bricked, but it happens. Uh, the wow. Don't remember this one. Again, it was a while ago. I had dinner, played games with Jamer. Jamer keeps going off screen when we play Streets of Rage, so I can't see what's about to hit me. Now this one, this was a beautiful hand for me. Peace of Planet, grab Visas, activate Defanging, put down Boy, get Lightheart, use Lightheart Effect, get Ractophobia, cycle the cards, get Reichheart, special summon Reichheart, Reichheart gets Straddle, bring down the other one, break Lightheart. This is where I made an oopsie that Jamer pointed out to me too after I made the after I made it. Should've went for the Scarecrow. And then he scoops. He did not want it. Did not want it, could not handle it, and that is the power of loops. And again, you can see probably the reason why he didn't want it. Since he couldn't target it thanks to defanging, he probably didn't have many to handle it. He's probably hoping that his cat, he probably had a cashier or two that he was like, maybe this will work, but ultimately, when you can't affect it and you go in defense mode automatically, especially in a deck like this where you have no links, he wouldn't have been able to attack over. He would have been stuck. He would have had to figure out a way to clear my entire board, and I don't think he had Harpies and he had Harpies for Geki, but what was he really gonna do? Uh, this one. This one where is where I played Slop. So, this one I also got pretty annoyed with, too. Simply because... This is when they choose to imperm. It would have been definitely smarter to do it with Rhymeheart. But. Yeah.
And again, knowing what I know now that this was the loner deck. Don't be fooled by the swiftness, by the way. He actually took a while to figure out what to do here. But Lulu Swaith was actually really a, a very good tech for him. Losing the Super Pie was probably painful. See, here, here's where I messed up. I should have used Acro to get out Light. Light would have gotten Reich. Reich would have gotten... Uh, no, no. I would have gotten Printed Planet. Printed Planet would have gotten Reich. Reich would have been Special Summoned. I could have dropped Light. Bring out Visas. Visas and... Visas brings back Light. Uh, Link all three. Tryheart comes out. I win the match. Um, or at the very least, I do way more than what I did here. Right? So of course, they bring that out. I don't know what was so precious in their hand, but drawing imaginings just... Yeah, I knew, I knew there was no coming back from this there. Because it was just going to be a very slow beat down. Or worse yet, he was going to try to flex or... I No, stop that heroic. He was he was just going to play and try to win the match. He had lost. Let's see what he had lost. Albaz was gone. And Albaz was gone probably to make... Wait, where's Albion? They didn't include Albion in the load... Hold up. Was that his own deck, or was that the loner? No, that's the lo The loner deck didn't include Albion? What? How are they gonna teach anyone who's playing Albus for the first time? Bro, oh my god. And Albion is such a good card to teach someone about, the, like, timing things out in the consequence. There's no Lubellion here, either. What would he have gotten? Can't use any of the invoked. It was either... It had to have been tight. Yeah, it was Titanclad. He would have just got... No, not even Titanclad. Oh, no. It's, it's just the original. So it would have been... He would have had to have gotten Titanclad. Wow, actually gaining the, the, the attack damage is what screwed me over there. Hmm. Hmm. Um... And yeah, Titanclad would have... I potentially could have overcome that. I'm a little disappointed in myself, actually. I was expecting some... Hmm. I actually gave up a little bit too quickly there. Goes to show what I always say. Don't, don't give up just yet. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. So, bring out Peace of Planet. Peace of Planet gets up the Mandanium. Breaks Mandanium. Didn't realize it wasn't, uh... Yeah, I actually got the wrong one. I bought Fearless, not Torrid. You know, the Scareclaw one. You know how it is. Activate birth, bring out tier limits, and this. Oh, this was so sweet to see it happen. Goodbye to the evil star. Goodbye to the Harpy's Feather Duster, and goodbye to Monster Reborn. And they had also, I think, yeah, they had to discard for Chaos Hunter to bring out, so they got rid of Solemn. So, of course, I'm not going to let my guy get taken out like that, so that's a no for me, dog. Hit him with the very simple, bring my monster back. Fun fact, and I'm going to teach you all this now. 
Mandanium Breakheart? I use this in my actual Mandanium deck. Um, it doesn't say original attack, just attack less than or equal to the special summon monsters. Because she got the boost from Planet, she was able to be stronger than Chaos Hunter, and so let her get taken out. Otherwise, originally... Yeah, 23. I gambled and I won. So, of course... A big welcome labyrinth. This is where our opponent messed up the biggest. And where I also lost all pity for them. Okay, goodbye to Labyrinth. Got out Meosis. Got out Rise Heart. Well, a Rise Heart. Banish everything. And looky, looky what I had found. This is also a very neat tech I didn't realize. Now, I will admit, I did entertain Sphere Moding and then going into Raw. But it would have taken two turns. And I wanted to win. But yeah. A lot of luck on my side, especially with how many times I saw certain cards. Which it brings me to a question I tend to ask myself whenever I play one of the TCGs on online like this. What is shuffling the decks? Genuinely, what is shuffling the decks? To, to show off, also to show off that, you know, a bestial heart deck, which is my Mandanium deck. Um... Do a little deck list for you guys. So we have two of Fearless and two of Meek because I don't want three copies simply because I feel like there's not as much you can do with that once they've been, you know, popped. However, Torrid's a searcher for all of them, so we got three Torrids. Three Rhyme Hearts, two Samsara, three Visas, one of the boys, of course, because they're all limited. Uh, two Baldrakes, who I was. Uh, I, I feel like I've been sleeping on, but works actually pretty well in the deck with all the lights and darks around. Of course, two Lubellians, because you can never have enough Lubellian. Three of Veta, because Veta was a key part of this plan, because again, Veta makes literally the other uh, synchro monsters we have here. One Harpies. Two Clear New World, because we already are popping so many things, we don't need Regeki's help. And even if we do, I feel like we have other answers that are slightly better. Two Imaginings, two um, Abscissions, three Planets, two Regrains. Two Regrains actually, I actually dropped down to one. Same thing with Clear New World. I actually dropped that down to one because Vita himself searches it out from deck or graveyard. So, uh, two Imperms, because of course, two Break Hearts, and three Refrain. So, yeah, it's it's just... I, I really like how the Mandaniums play. As for the extra deck, we go with two Astralouds, because now that we have Samsara, we can bring back the other monsters. And of course, if we have Regained, we can still bring back more, mon more monsters. Uh, of course, Triscuta for you know any small text that we can do on top of that. Triscuta is also a very good card for dropping levels down to two. So I could potentially bring out a Prime Heart with, like, four attacks. No, possibly five attacks if I can set it up. And a five attacking Prime Heart with freaking immunities? Mm. Delicious. Um, We have Psyframe Cy Omega because of the fact that he can banish himself and trigger regained. And then I could send the card that was banished from my opponent. Then I, I banished from in my opponent's thing back. I actually no, I could banish my cards and then send them back to my deck without regain. So he's another way to bring back things like again, Visas or one of the other hearts. Or well, one of the hearts. Of course, two two Amaritas, one Baron, because I'm not that cruel. 
uh, one Supreme Sword Soul, because, again, banish, loop, banish, loop, banish, loop. One Dispatcher, because... Loops! One Prime Heart, although I could see an, an argument being made for two or more. Uh, two Chaos Angel, because what's better than one Grandma? Two Grandmas. Only Unicorn and Goddess for potential Link plays, and that's just simply for tech reasons. If I was to drop any card and add another, it would potentially be uh, Amarita, just for something else, or even um, one of the Astrolouds to bring in probably another Link. And that Link would potentially be something like Appaloosa, or even um, Crusadia. Well, Avermax. But yeah, the, um... Anyway, I've talked a lot. I've showed you a lot. I hope you had some fun with it. And I hope you like seeing all the matches. I might start looking at more of my duels and being like, oh, maybe I could show this off and, you know, talk about it. Maybe vent about it, too. It might be a little bit helpful. I still will try my best to work on the saltiness that happens when I'm playing this game. But until that day, I want to thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, you know what to do. Much, much appreciated if you do. Until next time, I just want to say... Laters.